Hello and welcome everyone to this video tutorial. Today we will learn about creating views in PostgreSQL. Views are virtual tables that allow us to organize and manipulate data in a simplified manner. Let's jump right in and learn how to create views in PostgreSQL with some code examples. To begin, let's understand the syntax of creating views in PostgreSQL. The basic syntax for creating a view is as follows. The create view statement is used to define a view followed by the desired view name. Inside the parentheses, we specify the columns we want to include in the view, separated by commas. We then specify the source table using from keyword, and optionally add a where clause to apply any conditions. Now that we understand the syntax, let's dive into some practical example. Make sure you have PostgreSQL installed and running on your machine. Consider a table called employees with columns such as ID, name, department, and salary. Let's say we want to create a view that shows us the names and salaries of employees who work in the sales department. Using create view statement, we define our view as a sales employees and specify the query that retrieves the desired data. But what happens behind the scene when we create a view? Let me explain. When we create a view, PostgreSQL stores the underlying query in the system catalog, but it does not execute the query or store the actual data. Instead, the view is stored as a virtual table and its definition is saved for later use. When we query the view, PostgreSQL dynamically executes the stored query and returns the result set as if we had executed the original query directly on the underlying table. This means the data in the view is not physically stored but is generated on the fly when we access it. Let's query our sales employees view and observe the execution process. As you can see, when we query the view, PostgreSQL internally executes the stored query and returns the names and salaries of employees working in the sales department. Behind the scene, PostgreSQL translates our query to the underlying table and fetches the corresponding data. This allows us to work with the view just like any another table without worrying about the complexity of an underlying query. Now let's explore some more advanced example of creating views. Views can be as simple or as complex as your requirement dictate. For instance, you can create a view that combines data from multiple tables using a join statement. In this query, we are creating a view called sales report which joins the employees and sales tables. This view allows us to easily analyze sales data by employee, displaying their names, departments and sales figure. Now let's execute this statement and see the results. When we create a view with joins, PostgreSQL internally performs the necessary join operation based on the view definition. Let's query our sales report view to observe the execution process. As you can see, the view provides us with the consolidated report of sales data combining information from multiple tables. PostgreSQL handles the join operation behind the scene, simplifying our query and presenting the result as if we had joined the tables directly. Another powerful feature of view is the ability to add filters, calculation, and aliases to underlying query. This allows us to manipulate the data and present in more meaningful way. In this query, we are creating a view called High Earners, which selects employees with the salary greater than $1 lakh and calculates their annual bonuses based on a fixed percentage. Let's execute this query or statement and see the results. When we create a view with filters and calculation, PostgreSQL internally applies the specified condition and calculation to the underlying data. Let's query your high energy view to observe the execution process. As you can see, the view provides us with desired information, including the calculated bonus for each high earning employee. PostgreSQL executes the query with the specified conditions and performs the necessary calculation, generating the result set on the fly. I hope that you have enjoyed video tutorial on how to create a view in PostgreSQL. So at last, I want to say, don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel and thank you.